in Hamilton County, legal experts say, frankly, they're baffled. That's because Fisher's High School, they're still refusing to say why it suspended its head football coach. Yeah, the state has already said hiding that information is illegal. Our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel explains how the school is ignoring the state and the law and sticking with its secret. This is how Hamilton Southeastern School secretly issued a week-long suspension back in January, quietly voting to suspend employee number 10042. Thirteen investigates learned that employee is Fisher's head football coach Rick Wimmer. Last fall, the coach was involved in a classroom altercation with a student. But the school district won't say if the unpaid suspension approved months later was for that same incident or for something else. HSE kept those facts a secret, even though Indiana law requires public schools to release that information. So Eyewitness News filed a complaint with the state's public access counselor. He confirmed the school district is obligated to provide more facts, and he urged HSE to do that. The school district refused prompting 13 investigates to again appeal to the state's expert and authority on public records. This time, public access counselor Luke Britt found the school district violated both the spirit and intent of Indiana's Public Records Act. But rather than obey the law, HSE has since doubled down on keeping it secret. The school district's attorney sent WTHR this letter, claiming the public access counselor found no violation at all. That makes it look like they kind of missed the point. The public access counselor told 13 Investigates he is baffled by how HSC and its attorney could misinterpret not one, but two separate opinions, clearly stating the school is withholding information it cannot legally hide. I think the opinions speak for themselves. They didn't follow your recommendation. No, they violated the spirit and intent of the law. He says the law's intent is clear. HSE must provide enough facts so taxpayers know why Rick Wimmer was actually disciplined. After all, those taxpayers are paying for the coach's salary. I certainly made a strongly worded recommendation to provide more detail in that factual basis, but they chose to go a different direction. And it seemed that you were somewhat frustrated by that position that they took. I was pretty clear on my expectations. When something like this happens, the public has the right to know to an extent what happened. But the mystery about Coach Wimmer's suspension has now dragged on for months, and taxpayers are footing the bill. 13 Investigates has asked the school district how much it's paid attorneys to keep this secret. So far, HSE has not released that information either. If this case goes to court, the costs will surely rise as the school district continues to hide information that the state says must be released to the public. We're still looking for answers. We've asked the school district if it will allow the public access counselor to privately review the facts of the suspension to better determine if HSC has any legitimate reason for keeping it a secret. We're still waiting for a response.